Welcome to the workshop! Hi, today I'm going to show you how to cut a bridle joint on the bandsaw. We're going to be joining these two components together at a right angle, like so. They've been prepared plain, square and true all round, same width and height. Now we need to measure off the width. And we always leave ourselves a little bit extra just to clean up with the plane afterwards. So I'll mark with pencil and that will give me an extra bit of width. And we'll do the same on this component. On the tenon, I want to knife that line all the way round, except for one of, one of the edges, which will be the end show face. On the other component, we just want to mark a knife where the end of the joint is going to be, end of the socket. And then perhaps lightly across, just so we can see where we are. And to transfer that round to the other side, Just nick the other end. And bring that across. Now the bandsaw is all set up and tuned correctly as shown in my basic bandsaw videos. We're using a fence which is at 90 degrees to the table and the blade is also at 90 degrees to the table. I've set for any drift angle with my main fence and I've adjusted the position of this high fence to give me tenon of approximately a third of the material. What I've also prepared beforehand is a spacer. This is just a, a small shim of material which is equivalent to the kerf width of the current blade I've got in the saw. Now when I was preparing it earlier I planed a little bit too much off so I can just use a paper shim behind it to bring it to the exact width. We use that when we're cutting the tenon. And we remove that when we cut the mortise. So let's cut the open mortise first of all. The work tight against the table and the fence, we cut up until we reach our knife line.
Wi-Fi fence removed, we can chop away the excess in the middle of this component and we can cut off the shoulders, the cheeks of uh, this component. Lovely fit. If we take that to the bench and just using the chisel on the knife lines that we left, clean up nice and square, then we can put that together. And so our joint is completed. Nice tight joint lines, all through using just a little shim at the bandsaw. The open mortise and tenon, give it a go.